So childhood leukemia is essentially a cancer of the blood cells that live in the bone marrow. Um, there, are, there are many different kinds of childhood leukemia, but they're mainly um, divided into two main types, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, known as ALL, and acute myeloid leukemia, known as AML. So we'd love to be able to boast the same cure rates for acute myeloid leukemia as we can for acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Um, and we've not really been able to do that to date. And part of that is really because we lack sufficient basic biological scientific understanding of, of childhood acute myeloid leukemia. We can't do the large um, clinical trials that we do in acute lymphoblastic leukemia to really discover the best combinations of treatments. Now, what we're having to do is look at the results we get in adults who also have acute myeloid leukemia where it's much commoner and so we can do these kinds of studies and apply the results from adults to our children with the disease. But there's a basic problem here. We don't really know whether children who have acute myeloid leukemia, whether the myeloid leukemia is the same in children as in adults. And the kind of research that's being done here is really to try and understand what the similarities and what differences are between childhood leukemia AML and adult AML. Because it's only really by understanding that that we can really give children the right therapy for them as opposed to just giving them drugs that have been tested in adults and that may or may not be so effective in childhood leukemia. Well, the funding is extremely important um, for the continuity of work. Uh, right now uh, the group has expanded to about 10, um, which is a very good size lab to keep up to speed with the changes in technology and the changes um, in the knowledge uh, for the disease. Um, without the funding, uh, we wouldn't be able to do um, a lot of our day-to-day -day research, which is um, quite expensive. So for every student that is in the lab, they need their materials, so they, they need um, a pipette man, and each of these is 200 pounds. This pink liquid here, each bottle of that costs 100 pounds, and you just go through one of those for every experiment. Um, particularly here in uh, Glasgow, we look at the different cell types um, and there is a lot of focus on the stem cell, the leukemia stem cell, which is the cell that um, is evading therapy. And in AML, that is the cell that we um, need to get rid of. So looking at the cell, but what went wrong and is it different if it's in a young versus an old cell? Um, and I think that's, that's an open question. It's a hard question to answer. Um, because of the resources um, available to us. Um, but hopefully with this funding you will be able to get some ways to answer that so that the treatments can be tailored specifically to a younger person than an older person.